Let's talk about Table of Contents, also known as TOCs. Now the Table of Contents section is on the References ribbon. Over on the left-hand side, Table of Contents. When I float my mouse there, it actually tells you what it does. It provides an overview of your document by adding a Table of Contents. The text using the heading style is automatically included. Let's come over here to the Home ribbon. Under the Style section is a gallery. We're going to be working with Heading 1 and Heading 2 today. Let's go ahead and start on this. All right, during this process, we're going to use four ribbons. First of all, the View ribbon. On the View ribbon, we've got our navigation pane already checkmarked. This time, we're going to use headings. As we apply the heading styles, you'll see it build right over here on the left-hand side. Next, the Home ribbon. The Home ribbon is where we apply the heading styles. They're also found on the right click and the mini bar. And then the Insert ribbon to apply page numbers. And then the References ribbon to apply the TOC. Okay, let's get started. Number one, in this document, each heading starting with topic, we're going to apply heading style one. Subtopics will be heading style two. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one first. I'm going to find topic. Now I'm going to move my mouse over to the left-hand side and select the entire line. I could go up to the home ribbon. We've got heading one right there. Let's do it again with the mini bar. Float my mouse to the left-hand side, select the next topic. The mini bar pops open. We've got styles. And here we go, the same gallery, heading one. Now let's do a subtopic. Clicking beside Rules, Styles, Heading 2. Well, this is going to be a lot of work and a lot of moving around, so we're going to be using the Format Painter right over here on the Home Ribbon Format Painter. That is also found on the right click. So I'm going to select one more topic. I'm going to apply Heading Style 1. If I single click the Format Painter, I can use it once. If I double click it, I can use as many times as I want till I'm done. This is a very fast way to apply the same heading on a bunch of lines. Double click, click, click. There we go. Notice on my mouse is a little tiny paintbrush. Wherever I click will apply that heading. Since a heading is a paragraph feature, I simply have to click the line. I don't have to select it. Just click in that line, click. It applies to the whole line. This is speedy, speedy way to do this. Okay, anything that says topic, I'm just clicking once, applying that heading. Okay, now to stop it because I'm done. I'm going to hit escape. It will stop it. I could bring my mouse up here to the paintbrush and turn it off. Okay, control home, get back up to the top. Time to do the subtopic. Finding a subtopic, clicking into the line. I can go up to the gallery, heading two. Come over here to the paintbrush, double click. And now I'll just go through and find the subtopics. Click. And that is it. There was just one other. Hitting escape to stop the paintbrush. Check out what happened on the navigation pane. Even though they're left aligned on the document, we can show that they are indented over here on the navigation pane. It'll look the same way on the table of contents. Right back up here to the top. That was step one. Step two, insert page numbers, bottom of page. All right, that is on the insert ribbon. Far right hand side, header and footers group, page number, bottom of page, plane number three. Notice it popped open the footer section. To get out of that, I'm going to float my mouse into the document and double click. Okay, page numbers are on. You can see on the bottom left hand side, page one of three, and those will show up on the table of contents. They don't show up on the navigation pane. Item three, insert a page break at the very top. That's where we want our table of contents to land. And then we're going to go to the References ribbon and insert the table of contents. The final step five will be done in the next lesson. Okay, up to the top. Control Home takes us to the top of our document. Where do we want the page break? Right underneath the heading table of contents. I'll hit Enter once, and we know from previous lessons that Control Enter will push in a page break. You could also go to Layout, Breaks, Page Break. There we go. It forced everything to the second page. Scrolling up to the top again. Okay, and our step number four was the References ribbon table of contents button. Here we have automatic table one. In this case, table one heads up with the word contents. Automatic table two heads it up with the words table of contents. Okay, we're going to just stick with this right now with the first one, contents. Go ahead and click and scroll up to see the results. There you go. Is this correct? Page two begins my text, and final page four. Notice I don't have any headings applied to page one, so it didn't get a page one. 
it only sees the headings that started on page two and further down. So yes, this is correct. Notice as I float my mouse, it's giving me a tooltip, control click to follow a link. Zooms me to that spot. So that is how you use a table of contents after the fact. That's it for this lesson. Join me in the next lesson and we will update this.